but it's working. I mean, that's a good flow of oil. Hey guys, what's up? Here to talk to you today about a, real quick about a priming system that I put together for LS engines. Uh, it's not my original idea, but uh, it works really well, so I figured I'd share how I set it up and it just show it to you. So it's really just as uh, simple as I've got a drill here. Uh, down there I've got a bucket. Let's go down to the bucket. And inside the bucket is a small block Chevy oil pump. And so you just fill the bucket up with the oil that you're gonna put in the LS. You take the output of that, you feed that into the LS oil pump area, which is really easy. I'll show that to you. And then you just devise a return mechanism. So I've got a funnel sitting underneath the oil pan. So this thing's a pseudo closed loop. You just crank the drill on and it starts flowing oil in. I get about 40 PSI oil pressure running this circuit, so this is how I'm going to prime this engine up. Uh, the connection is just over here on the front of the engine. So here's like power steering, and then we just come in here, and basically on the driver's side, there's a plug that's here normally, so you can get a fitting, and then this is the line coming from the bucket, and that's it. So. Really easy to make, costs about 60 to 80 bucks, depending on if you've got supplies at your house. Much cheaper than the aftermarket stuff that costs upwards of 150 bucks and works very well. So, here's a, here's a little bit on how it's made. All right, so let's take a look at the guts of the priming bucket. Uh, it's really just a standard three gallon food grade bucket you get at uh, Home Depot. That's actually where I got this. And I'm supposed to have fastened it, but it's basically you take the lid, you punch some holes in it, and we made, I made a metal plate. This is actually what the uh, oil pump is mounted to. And then under that, you just got small block Chevy oil pump. Uh, this is the, uh, the adapter you see in there. So this is where it's got quarter NPT on one side and then a dash 6AN on the other side. And then this hole right here, this is just where I feed the uh, oil back in. Uh, I got the supply line stuck down through there, but so the funnel was acting in there and it was coming back down through this hole. And then let's get the funnel out of the way here. <clears throat> got a little bit of a mess. Um, off the oil pump, you can see I just got a. I cut the uh, pickup in half and I've got a big rubber line between the two halves so that the pickup sits down in the bottom of the bucket. Uh, other than that, that's it. I mean, it's a pretty simple design. Uh, and just use uh, your favorite, uh, either buy a drive shaft or use your favorite tool to drive the, uh, the small block Chevy pump. That's it. So it's not very complicated, uh, very easy to build. I mean, I just had the aluminum hanging out. I probably should have, like I said, put a couple of bolts in to fasten the aluminum down to the lid. And I'll probably still wind up doing that after things settle down here. Uh, so, so, there you have it. That's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Uh, I'll post some uh, of the, uh, the parts lists so that uh, I'll put those at the end of the video there so you've got the, some of the details. So you know like what part number the uh, adapter is and then I'll show you the other adapter for the, uh, that goes into the block. So here's the adapter that goes into the block. Um, it's basically just a, it's a 16 something thread on one side, I don't remember what it is, it's 16 1.5 mil and then a dash 6 AN on the other side. So you just pick that up. I didn't even put a a seal on it. Some guys will try and put like a status seal on this side, but the block is really flat. It's machine surface there, so and it's machine surface on the bottom side of these adapters, so it actually sealed up pretty well. Uh, I wasn't worried about a dripper leak or anything like that because I knew this was going to be coming back out and the original plug going back in, so it uh, worked pretty well.